Hi, everyone. A very good evening. Uh, this is the Twitter Spaces hosted by the CA Club of India. And of course, it's on the most uh, talked about topic right now, and that is the proposed changes by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India in the CA course. Many of you may have already been through some of those details, um, uh, you know, and lots of interesting changes right from the entry into the CAFC course to, of course, finally, when you do want to become a practicing chartered accountant. So we will be discussing all of this and more. And of course, at the end, we will also be taking on board uh, your questions and queries. So of course, I am hoping that during the course of our conversation, we will try and get them answered. Um, but yes, after that, if you still have any questions or queries, we'll be happy to take them on board. Uh, so just a little bit, uh, of course, about the CA Club of India, uh, a wonderful platform for members, for students, for practicing chartered accountants, um, you know, to talk about um, what are the latest developments in the world of chartered accountancy, in the world of taxation, indirect taxation, accounts, etc., um, uh, I'm Mubina Kapasi and I'm hosting it uh, on behalf of CA Club of India. So uh, I'm, it's absolutely my honor. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I myself uh, have been a chartered accountant, a qualified chartered accountant for the last 12 odd years. Um, I haven't been practicing, of course, for the last uh, nine or 10 odd years. Uh, I have been uh, a prime time anchor with ET now. That's a part of the Times Television Network. And now I'm an independent content creator and anchor. All right. Well, uh, now let me introduce our speakers as well. Um, and uh, we have, in fact, as you can see, three speakers with us. And it's my absolute honor to introduce all of them uh, to all of you. Very qualified and, you know, people who have a lot of experience. So first up, we have C.A. Dinesh Vadera. He is a practicing chartered accountant. He has worked with Deloitte. He has worked with ICICI Bank. And he has also been teaching uh, accounting and indirect taxation to foundation CA students, to intermediate CA students, and to CA final uh, students as well, all the way since 2013. Uh, so Dinesh sir, Professor Vadera, Mr. Vadera, you have lots of titles. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mubina. I hope I'm um, audible well to all of you. You are loud and clear to me, and uh, I hope, uh, yes, he's audible to everyone. In case if there is some audio problem, you can just uh, raise your hand. Okay, next, our next speaker is Chartered Accountant Anurag Sharma. He's not just a Chartered Accountant, but he's also done his MBA in Finance, and he's completed the DISA. He's also done certifications of FAFD, Concurrent Audit of Banks, and he's cleared the eligibility test of being an independent director not just that, he has also written four books. Two of them are English novels and two are handbooks of handwritten notes on finance. He also regularly writes articles in websites like our very own CA Club India, Study Cafe, OptoTax, and he's very active on social networking websites where he regularly shares his handwritten notes relating to finance and other views on um, his Instagram page, on his Twitter page. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Sharma, thank you so much as well for joining us. Thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me this opportunity to share my views on this proposed changes by CA and CA course. Thank you so much for providing me this platform and uh, along with Dinesh sir and Sirat sir and uh, my dear friends who are listening to me. Thanks a lot, ma'am. My pleasure. All right. And finally, we have uh, Professor Siraj Kapasi. He's also a chartered accountant. He is also a cost works accountant, but of course now it's more commonly known as CMA or cost management accountant. Now, Professor Kapasi has actually had a career of teaching students since the last 35 years. He started off by teaching at colleges in Hinduja College. Um, eventually, he was coached by many coaching classes. He started off his own coaching classes, that's Kapasi classes, uh, around 30 years ago. Since then, he has taught lakhs of students. 
he specializes in financial reporting and costing especially for final ca he has recently completed the entire study material for the international financial reporting standards and considering the fact that he has taught for the last 35 years there are many instances in which he has taught two generations of students in the same family so there has been the parent and the child who has cleared his graduation his or her graduation and his chartered accountancy course under professor kapasi and yes as our surnames are same i will uh, solve the query in all these inquisitive minds he is my father so but of course for the purpose of this uh, spaces i'm going to just call him professor kapasi so thank you so much as well for joining us uh thank you mubina thanks a lot for my introduction it's my pleasure to be a part of this discussion and it's i will really even i will have knowledge and even i can impart my knowledge regarding the same thank you very much mubina okay excellent so now that uh, we have introduced everyone let's quickly start off uh, this conversation um the idea behind this is of course to you know in case if any student has not been completely aware of all the proposed changes to just get them introduced with that and of course then dive into the nitty gritty so let's first get an overall view of uh, what the proposed changes are and you know what i'm not going to waste our speaker's time in doing that i'm quickly just going to go through them myself for the benefit of our um, listeners so firstly the entire idea behind this new scheme of education and training as per the icai is that they want to try and introduce more practical training they want to overcome mugging and rock learning they want to um, they have also found the need for subject wise integration of ethics the need for industry orientation uninterrupted article ship training these are just some of the things that are going to be introduced in the proposed course remember folks it's a proposed course it's not yet implemented abhi the notification is just open for students like you for members etc to comment and to put forward their suggestions for the next 25 or 30 odd days uske baad those suggestions will take be taken into consideration then it will be adopted by the council forwarded to you know the various government bodies they may come back with their own suggestions once it's adopted then the study material will have to be created for of course you know the new subjects so all in all it's going to take a little while for this to be implemented um foundation ca se leke you know your practical training there are a couple of changes in foundation ca the biggest change is that now you are going to have a more stringent pass percentage so while earlier you just needed 40% in each paper and 50% in aggregate now you need to clear or get at least 50% in every paper so that's a big change um the papers largely are the same accounting law quantitative quantitative aptitude and business economics in intermediate ca instead of eight papers you have six papers so that's a big big relief eis has been removed economics for finance has been removed uh, and other laws has been removed however um, i would reckon that even though it has been reduced from eight to six the quantity and intensity of studying in these six papers is going to be a little more plus they have a, they may adopt the criteria of negative marking in papers having objective type questions so that will also make it a little tricky uh then after that you also do have uh, the other criteria with respect to exemption if a student secures more than 60% as we all know by now then you are exempt from appearing for that paper but that exemption can be carried forward for only 3 years however in the proposed rule if you want to carry it forward beyond 3 attempts sorry not 3 years 3 attempts if you want to carry it forward beyond 3 attempts then you will have to score 50% in the balanced two papers as well in the same group so that's something interesting that has been introduced in fine and then of course you start your practical training only after you clear both levels of inter ca now your practical training will not be 3 years but it will be 2 years but 2 years only dedicated to practical training 
after you finish two years of practical training, then you start final CA. There also papers have been reduced from six to four. So costing and strategic cost, sorry, corporate and economic loss and strategic cost management has been moved out to a self-paced e-learning mandatory module. So aapke papers hoge art se chhe. And then after that, you also do have self-paced e-learning modules, like I mentioned. There are four of them. Economic laws, strategic cost management, which were earlier in final CA. Now they have been moved to e-learning modules. And you'll also have set C, which is a specialization module. You'll have to choose one and multidisciplinary modules. Uh, after that, if you want to become a practicing chartered accountant, your journey has not ended. Because after you qualify as a chartered accountant, you will have to work under a, a fellow chartered accountant for one year and then you will be awarded a certificate of practice. If you don't want a COP and you want to just get into some other stream like, like how I did, in that case then you don't need a certificate of practice and you can immediately start working once you get your CA certificate. All right, so all of this is out of our way. I've given you a very um, upra upri view, if you could call it that. But of course, because I didn't want our speakers to waste their time behind all of this, uh, I wanted their specialized view on what their view is on the course. So, Mr. Vadera, let's start off with you first. Your overall view on, you know, what the changes has brought about, um, you know, in right from the fact that the entry in CFC has been become a bit, has become a little more stringent to the fact that now even practical training may the students are going to concentrate for two years only on practical training. Yeah. Hi. Thank you, Mubina. And uh, first of all, many congratulations to you. The way you have put forward the whole draft. I mean, your research uh, is so good. And the way you have presented is excellent. So uh, maybe what we can do, uh, me and uh, Nurag and the Kapasi sir, we can just put on our own opinion on the proposed changes, how it is going to impact the students and the fraternity at large. And uh, maybe what, are, what will be the pros and cons. And uh, it is not so easy. It will not be so easy for the uh, existing council to adopt everything which they have mentioned in the draft as it is. Uh, there certainly are going to be a lot of changes, particularly a retaliation, because uh, uh, there are the many stakeholders, particularly the practicing CA, the well-established firms, then comes the big force, again, uh, there comes the educationist uh, uh, and the faculties, like Kapasi sir and me and Bhavar Borana sir and many others. And of course, so everybody will get a chance to put their view forward. And of course, the major stakeholder here are going to be a student. Let me clarify this, that many existing students are uh, so uh, excited and generous to know what is exactly going to happen. But uh, particularly, I will begin my opinion with the thought that existing CA students just should not bother about what is going to be there in this new proposed scheme because it is of course anyways not going to affect them if they have already enrolled for the old uh, uh, curriculum uh, they will have to carry it unless they uh, just pass on that um, eligibility criteria to uh, you know uh, roll over from the old scheme to new scheme but it will take at least 10 hours for uh, 10 years for that and very less likely that student very less number of students will be there for this so first of all uh, through CA Club India and through these spaces I would like to convey to the existing students who are there in the listeners that just don't bother it is not going to affect you at all first thing Secondly, uh, I will put one point, then we'll, we can pass on to the Kapasi sir and Anurag for uh, their views on some other point. Now, uh, there is one uh, proposal uh, to that uh, um, the exemption can be carried forward to three attempts only. And if a student have to do that, he must score 50% in the balanced subject of that group. Yesterday, I was in a spaces with uh, CCM Dhiraj Khandelwa sir and Rohit Truvatiya sir hosted by uh, C.R. Kripachori. So therein we uh, also come to know that one more proposal is been propagated by many of the uh, stakeholders is that why students should not get a chance to select a paper of his choice instead of compulsory pushing him to select a group, a particular group and that has been welcomed by the CCM. Uh, off record, I have been in a touch and conversation with many of the CCM and the Board of Studies member who also have this opinion that yes, this can be done. One thing you also miss that uh, the big uh, thing which is there that uh, all the subjects, all the subjects uh, in CA examination uh, are going to be open book 
examination so these are two broad uh, things i will take up first for my opinion so see uh, uh, exemption carry forward for three attempts where you have to score a 50% in a balanced subject will not uh, be a good idea i i personally believe that it should be as it is as it is currently because anyways if a student has a choice to select subjects of his own choice one two or three subjects any random subjects then uh, scoring a 50% aggregate mark in balanced subject will not make any sense first thing secondly if it is going to be a open book uh, examination certainly it will help uh, both students and institute to set a paper to test students on uh, on uh, on a definite criteria where they they will be exposed to more practical based and the case study based uh, questions rather than mugging up the things so yeah that's 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 to from my side to begin this discussion over to you mubina thank you mr vadera uh, mr sharma let's uh, you know uh, go on to you i think mr vadera raised some very interesting points also uh, the uh, the whole focus on the practical training bit as well uh, what stood out for you in this entire notification um first of all thank you so much uh, for briefing the students and uh, all the members about the uh, proposed changes and also it was clear listening to dinesh's point and but the my point is the planning or the draft is looks promising and uh, but all will it all will depend on the implementation because there are some loopholes or uh, i would say there are some points that have not been elaborated by the institute like uh, there has been increase in the stipend the stipend has been increased for the third year also while the proposed change says that article shift will be for the three years and uh, uh, the third year will be only for those who will be going for the practice or who will be taking up the cop so i can't find it uh, there i find find any logic in uh, increasing the stipend of third year maybe uh, some clarification is pending from the ici or uh, maybe i'm missing some point uh, but what i have read or what i have heard about it uh, it this looks vague vague and uh, the other point is decrease in article ship period and increase in stipend these two steps are welcome step actually why waste a third year of or uh, why put a student into third year of article ship if he or she doesn't want to go for practice or uh, uh, he he or she or just is just willing to take up the job so it it's a welcome step uh, and uh, the leaves have in decreased they have now allowed 12 leaves per year so uh, basically these two years have uh, have been to- will totally be dedicated towards learning rather than mugging or uh, it's a for me this is a welcome step and uh, the other point is decrease in papers from six uh, actually uh, in my point of view iska used to give me a nightmares so i am happy that uh, future students want uh, want be going through it uh, rather eas or other parts so uh, institute has done a good job but let's see how it is implemented and when and all it is implemented uh, as dinesh has pointed out about open book exam and uh, like exemption part he is uh, I, i also agree with him that uh, student must get a chance or uh, it must be the choice of the student uh, uh, or to avail an exemption or, or like uh, if someone wants to put an extra effort into an exam or uh, in a paper to claim an exemption so that he want have to uh, he or she want have to appear in other exams uh, uh, for the three attempts in that exam for the three attempts it is a quite a good step uh, if it's implemented according to what dinesh sir is saying but yeah i am happy with this uh, changes and let's see how it is implemented thank you mr sharma i'm happy to know that iska gave other people also nightmares because it sure gave me so many nightmares i studied so hard for it that i actually got the highest marks in iska from all my papers um okay well uh, finally professor kapasi your overall views on everything uh, that uh, you know has been put forward in these draft schemes uh, acha just one thing that um, i would like to tell all our listeners that I know some of you have put forward requests for questions. I'd request you to just note it down right now, and we'll just take them, you know, at the end of the session. Uh, Professor Kabasi, what's your view on the overall notification? Anything that stands out for you? The, you know, not just the good parts, the the not so good parts as well. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Mubina. And 
I will just put on what Professor Dinesh and Professor Anurag, Sir Anurag sir said. Just few additional points. My observation and my opinion regarding the draft. First point, it is mentioned, or it has been observed by many chartered accountants that to give CA Foundation course, you have to pass. Uh, sorry, you have to appear for twelve standard board examination or equivalent examination wherever it is conducted in India. And secondly, four months learning has to be there completed. Four months learning. Now, this four months learning many have interpreted as after the board examination is over, sometime in March, then four months learning. But if you observe the Gazette of India, the whatever they have come out or on page number fourteen, twenty-five G, first point. That no candidate shall be registered for the foundation course unless he has passed class tenth examination. That is first point. Then point number twenty five H A one A. It is registered with the board of studies of the institute for a minimum period of four months on or before the first of the month in which the examination is held. It means, according to my opinion, which is contrary to what others are saying, if a student registers, example, if he gives twelfth standard in March. If he registers before thirty first December, then he can give examination in May. Immediately after February, uh, February March board examination is over. That is my point of view regarding this particular act or which has been proposed. What is whatever is proposed, it is very clearly mentioned. He registered with the board of studies of the institute for a minimum period of four months on or before the first of the month. So whether he has completed four months of study period cannot be counted four months from the twelve standard examination appearance, but from the day when he registers. If he has registered before that, then also very good that he can give the board uh, uh, CA foundation examination in the May month, May month of May after the March board examination. But last date will be naturally before thirty first December, so that he will have clear cut four months: Jan, Feb, March, April. And he can give examination in May. This is my opinion, which is little contrary to what others are saying. That it is only after twelfth board examination you have to count four months. So he can give only the examination in the November coming November exam. So here I am slightly differing the opinion with what others are saying. Secondly, uh, only the final say will be open book. Inter say is the closed book, like normal paper. That's only I think. Uh, third point in the two years article ship only 12 days leave uh, leave is allowed only 12 days in every year per year so two years 24 days if he continues with the ca ca form okay now over here they have not specified how many hours are required for an article to put in in a week it means it is not not mentioned anywhere So it means a CA firm can make the article work even for ten hours a day, Monday to Saturday. I think this is not right. There has to be some restriction, like thirty-five hours in a week. So Monday to Friday he works seven hours a day, or maybe maximum forty hours a week. So eight hours a day, Monday to Friday. If he gets off on if he gets off on Saturday plus Sunday, two days in a week, what will happen is he has to in these two years he has to give all the what you say. The e uh, self learning modules which are there, self learning modules in this two years he has to complete, correct? And there are four sets A, B, C, D, and especially in set A there are nearly eight different acts and laws he has to study. Set B, strategic cost management and performance evaluation, which is also very large and you can say very elaborate subject. Set C, you have to select any one option, and set D. Now such a Such learning within those two years, and then he can do final C after two years. But if he doesn't have time to study in these two years, if he has to work for ten hours a day from Monday to Saturday, how will he do this in these two years? How will he do self learning? It is practically impossible, humanly impossible for anyone. And CA firms are known to exploit the students. They will make them work for nine ten hours, and student has to oblige. So there has to be some restriction over here. Either thirty-five hours, I would prefer thirty-five hours. Maximum forty hours in a week. Eight hours a day, Monday to Friday. So you will get time on Saturday, Sunday, every week to study for these four self-learning modules, which are four sets. 
Nothing is mentioned regarding the time, how many hours an article is supposed to work in a CA firm during these two years. There should be a limit. There has to be a limit. It is just the students are being tortured and they are exploited for a low pay scale. So this is what is my opinion. They should be not be working in a week for 35 or 40 hours in a week. This is my very strong. My opinion is that the committee or the board of studies or whoever is there in the managing committee, they have to consider this point and they have to mention the limited number of hours. It should not be like, it should not become very difficult for the, you see, you are saying it in the two years, you complete these four modules, but understand the four modules are not very lengthy. It is, it is not that so, so simple. Correct. So in these two years, where he will get the time if he's working for two years? All Monday to Saturday, only Sunday off. And he's a human being. He needs some break. Correct. So I am totally favoring the students. For the simple reason, I have been knowing this, what torture they go through if they do articleship in big four or big five, whatever. They work for 10, 10 hours a day. They come home at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock p.m. And they are told, that, okay, coming time is anything, but you cannot go before like going time, there's no limit. That's what they are told when they join for article three. This is like exploitation. So I think that should stop. And maximum 35 hours. At the most, I would say 40 hours, eight hours a day, five days in a week. So Saturday, we have time to study for the all the four modules. So that is my comment. And regarding stipend, I think that is whatever already Professor uh, Anurag sir and Sharma sir has already, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Dinesh sir has already mentioned about all these points. So I think this is my input on this thing. That's all if anybody wants to continue like whatever input is there. Thank sure. you, Mubin. Over to you. Well, uh, I think students will definitely agree with you. Uh, Mr. Vadera has worked in Deloitte, so I'm sure he also has some experience burning the midnight lamp and working till late, you know, for, uh, for Deloitte and for his uh, clients. Okay, um, I want to, you know, before we get into the whole article ship and stipend and practical training, but let's discuss a little bit about the study curriculum. Come down from 8 to 6, or actually let's start with CAFC, where they have uh, cut uh, down one, the... One minute, Mobina. Uh, um, sure. Anurag, sir, can you just mute yourself if it is not required? Yeah, thank you. So, uh, more stringent entry for a foundation CA. Uh, Mr. Vadera, your view of this because pehle you just had to get 40% in each paper and 50% mm -hmm. in aggregate. Now they are saying that 50% lao in every paper, negative marking 25% to hai for those two MCQs in paper 3 and 4. Yeah. What is the idea behind this? Why have they made it so much more stricter for you know um, the uh, students to enter foundation level CA? See, uh, Mubina, if you look out the enrollment ratio and the final pass out and uh, dropouts during the course, I guess the uh, CA uh, course uh, is puri tarab badanam for this huge dropout ratio. And there is a reason behind that. We all are qualified here. Um, uh, Kapasi sir been there in the industry for more than 35 years now. He has a better idea of that. And, uh, and, and, and look from the perspective of those students who just uh, uh, give everything for this uh, uh, said course called as a chartered accountancy but at the end they could not clear what's their future what they are doing if you have a little analysis statistics and research about that you will come to know that life becomes so difficult for them and the big reason for this um, um, uh, you know uh, mischief is uh, being entry made so easy for them you know, being uh, if if you if you if you uh, look at my views uh, from the coaching industry point of view, it is a welcome step. The step that the entry should be easy. Uh, I'm speaking absolutely on the uh, commercialized uh, point of view. But but frankly speaking, inside somewhere, I believe that uh, making entry stringent uh, more difficult should be a welcome step. So students get filtered at that initial level. So they, they at least have a, a lot of options open before them to choose their career from uh, rather than just giving everything to the CA and getting nothing at the end. Still, that BAA uh, is a kind of a recognition they are offering to the student who just could not clear the CA final, but they have completed the articleship and both group of CA intermediate. Uh, but it won't help. Accounting technician, ATC and all other uh, <clears throat> things were uh, 
also there before but they never get a recognition from the industry particularly from the um, you know the, the the job market or the labor market so yeah so my, sir, you, you didn't yeah. think just just one small follow up you didn't think that the atc course which is now of course called baa you yeah. don't think that they had many job prospects uh, even they, after the introduction they, of this they, they definitely not look at the glorified uh, goodwill and the brand of being a chartered accountant uh, i been it will be always a struggle for the student to um, you know built or set their self as a baa qualified it's not so recognized i mean institute will have to work at a very mass level first to establish a brand of a baa and i guess that is going to be a tough job because just your branding will not help it there should be a acceptance from the industry to hire and accommodate those uh, uh, semi qualified people for the job of course uh, i'm not saying that the, those who didn't qualify couldn't make a good impact i have i have seen many people I mean, many at a senior levels who were trying for us yet just could not uh, clear but now they are at a position that that, that they do lead and um, you know manage the team of four and five cs they are big corporates as well uh, this has been story from the 70s if i'm not wrong so but yeah i i endorse this view entry level should be difficult and it resembles with what uh, jee and neat is there If you look at the course, like हम हमेशा कहते हैं ना कि भाई बंदा सी ए कोर्स में आता है तो वो सी ए बन के निकलेगा इसका कोई गारंटी नहीं है बट जैसे आपका एक बार नीट क्लियर हो जाए या जेई आप क्लियर कर लो आप एक बार मेडिकल में या आई आई टी में एडमिशन दे दो तो नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट चांसेस है कि आप आप वहाँ से डॉक्टर या इंजीनियर बन के निकलोगे विच इज नॉट द केस विद द चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी कोर्स तो या मेकिंग एंट्री लेवल डिफिकल्ट पर्सनली आई एंडोज दिस एंड आई सपोर्ट दिस थिंग या मोबी ना very very true i mean many people you know invest 7 years 8 years 9 years behind the ca course and they eventually don't come out with the certificate or that lucrative career so you know one uh, hundred if you if you don't mind i can see dani sir is always also there so uh, hi mobina sorry can i say i 100% uh, agree i 100% agree with dinesh sir what he said foundation course 50% is perfectly correct every student has to bring 50% individually Other I still that time he doesn't clear. I think I agree hundred percent with Dinesh sir. Hmm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Be- yes, besides, sir. Besides, Dani besides sir is yeah. M- Movie na one. Uh, I would also before we lost this conversation, there were some mm-hmm. questions raised by the Anurag as well. So he mentioned that why a stipend is mentioned for the third year student. I would like to uh, give the answer to that. Uh, yes, may, may, maybe uh, those students who are not enrolled for the existing scheme, but they are the old scheme student. This new revised stipend will be applicable for them also. So that is one view that what I have been, uh, I have learned from the uh, recent discussions with the stakeholders. So that is the reason. Third thing that after qualification, if someone want to go into the practice and will have to undergo one more year of article ship under the FCA particularly. So it's still not clear whether he will be receiving a salary or a stipend. I am very much sure if. institute insist on giving them a good a uh, salary because it is going to set a benchmark for industry you know if uh, if, if, if if after being qualified as a chartered accountant the institute said that okay a qualified ca for one year is going to get a nominal amount of a stipend definitely it will have a very adverse impact on the overall uh, you know the, the, the it will set a wrong benchmark for those people who are willing to get into the practice uh first thing secondly if they um, push it for the salary there is going to be a huge retaliation from the practicing ca industry um, people that of course as the so, sira sir uh, already mentioned that the, the the still india is highly under paid in terms of accounting professionals so they will generally not accept the higher amount of a salary for that so it is going to be an interesting thing what call institute take secondly uh, i i would also like to answer the question raised by the kapasi sir that uh, he said that how many hours will be there uh, uh, during a week so i i guess even if it is not mentioned clearly in a draft it is not going to change uh, as in the current uh, scheme student will have to undergo 35 to 40 hours on paper officially of course exploitation issue is always there uh and uh, and in third point raised by the kapasi sir again is what was what i take a note is about the uh, uh this um 
particularly when a student can appear for the ca foundation after clearing a 12 standard or after appearing for a 12 standard i guess currently also in uh, earlier there was a cpt student were used to, allowed to appear for the examination right uh, one month or two month after the 12 board exam uh, even in a current foundation system also um, i have seen that student have already registered based on their admit cards of a 12 standard four month before the exam and they do appear for the next may immediately after the 12 standard and i believe that in a new course also that system is going to be there so sirasa said that he is taking a contrary view but my uh, view also coincide with what kapasi sir said uh beside that i i'm going to put a suggestion on institute website about the transfer of the articles like current transfer system is so isolated that uh, the the article trainee have to apply for the um, transfer to his principal and we all know how many issues they have to face so i would uh, recommend a centralized transfer system has to be there like that ssp portal uh, whatever they have created student should be eligible to put a formal request there and the principal will have to justify there why why he is allowing or not allowing the transfer and it should be visible by all those uh, concerned people at the top so it will make uh, bring a little transparency in the you know uh, a transfer system of article definitely should not be misused by the articles uh, also because there are a couple of few instances that uh, article training itself is not so professional to with his principal to and uh, the reasons for the transfer are so not not so justified so yeah that is one thing that i'm going to write to the institute yeah movina up to you thank you okay thank you dinesh sir uh, i was sorry. hoping that I the third to... year stipend uh, just one second i was hoping that the third year stipend is not uh, to be paid to the qualified chartered accountant when he is working with the fca because if that is the case then it's extremely low i just rupees 6000 um, there, there there will be a discussion there is going yes. to be certainly going to be a discussion in the council about that Yes, I'm sure there will be because students will not be happy about that for sure. Okay, uh, j- just uh, Professor Kapasi, before I come to you, actually I wanted to just get Mr. Sharma's view. Um, sir, you have actually done a lot of qualifications even after becoming a chartered accountant, MBA finance, GISA certifications of FAFD, concurrent audit of banks. Now what's happened is that even the board of studies has said that one of the initiatives is. to promote research among students um you know they want to expand the syllabus and material uh, and uh, you know they want to bring around necessary changes to make the curriculum more relevant to internationally do you think that this new curriculum helps students um you know or rather reduces the need for students to go and do other certifications um like you have done for example even in the self module uh there are so many in the optional online module you can choose from risk management arbitration which is also of course a new um field uh digital ecosystem international taxation do you think it's expanding the the study material for ca students to unko bahar jane ki zarurat nahi hai bas ye ca ho gaya and you're done with everything you have a knowledge of everything ma'am uh, first of all i would uh... I like to add one point that I, uh, like Zinesh sir has said, and as Siraj sir has said about the expectation of CA articles. So I totally agree with Zinesh sir that uh, some rules of CA transfer or transfer of articles should, should be lenient. Uh, should be made lenient. Uh, there are just two rules regarding 50 kilometers of distance and uh, some uh, health issues. So uh, that institutes considers mainly. So. first of all these rules should be made lenient this will stop exploitation of articles and uh, it will probably help the growth uh, of uh, icai but many people many uh, in the articles of many of them i know personally who have just uh, given up in the article because they felt that they were being exploited in the, the training period so it i see would do a great job if they could make these steps uh, make these uh, transfers little bit lenient and now as uh, the your question regarding uh, these add on courses or uh, regarding those technical knowledges first of all the main point is how to get the work after it the institute should also look into it because getting certification is one thing and uh, getting the exposure or getting the experience in that field is another like institute has introduced forensic accounting and fraud detections L- uh, is there any exposure in smaller cities or uh, entire to cities there are 
the forensic audits are basically done by big four or some big firms in the metro cities probably in smaller cities or uh, in small towns uh, hardly anyone does this so getting a certification and getting an experience are two different things as uh, in disa also disa is probably required for uh, mainly people are taking disa and concurrent audit of banks uh, course to get bank audits but how many of us actually get, are getting this is there uh, small are small ca firms getting those audits bank audits for they for what they are studying these courses so institute should also look to impart practical knowledge you just can't uh, grasp or uh, you just can't ratta maro ek type se ho gaya ke aap us cheez ka ratta nahi maar sakte eventually and uh, just to clear the course and after that you won't be getting any practical exposure so steps should be taken uh, to inculcate or to introduce some practical exposures like uh, you can in ffd we learn about some excel tricks or uh, uh, dark web etc but uh, how many uh, extra or how many new courses that institute has introduced in which inculcate those uh, tricks or that uh, whatever we learn in ffd or disa so my point is institute should also look into introducing some practical aspects and also akhil sir is there uh, who is uh, uh, whom i also uh, whom i read a lot regarding those changes uh, i will be glad if you could uh, give the mic to him or uh, let him speak also let him share his view also so okay all right uh, we'll just do that in uh, due time and uh, let's just finish one round of questions and then you know we'll open it up to akhil sir and and dani sir and all uh, if, sorry uh, professor kwasi you were saying something uh, you know before i went on and then i can shoot my question to you uh, just one last point as i said what i would before what i said ke bhai 35 hours as dinesh has pointed out the 35 hours remains the same because they are not mentioned one extra point there are ethics and there are self regulations right and there can be dis- disciplinary action in case of any f- default or any negligence towards practical audit or whatever in real practical life same way to safeguard the students exploitation there should be some ethical commitments and there should be some dis- disciplinary action against the firms who make the article work for more than 35 hours unless and until we don't protect the students students will never have a faith they get they as even the initial regard the exploitation is always there so how to stop that who will take the side of students who will be back back who will be backing the students correct so there has to be some disciplinary some ethics something self imposed i'm not saying discipline but some self imposition ethics should be there among the ca firms that a student should not work for more than 35 hours because it is as per the ca institute uh, preamble that's mm. all thank you on the chira okay. sir actually uh, see if you look at the core institute is by the members for the members and again uh, by the members but not so much for the students so actually this this issue is always there been discussed lot of time formally and informally but i don't think that there is going to be any written um, uh, i know the, the very stringent written provisions regarding stopping this exploitation before because on paper this exploitation does not exist at all so more we become student friendly the more we become anti members and, and, sure. and this fight is not going to be stop soon <laughs> yeah i know the nature what you are saying is 100% right it is for the members by the members and the institute controls by the members so i agree with okay. you 100% but we should sympathize with the students because who will back them they, de- de- definitely sir we can we can put forward this suggestion we have to put institute. forward yeah. and yeah, we, it should be imposed it should be self it is more like the members and the firm should self impose upon themselves as a morally uh, morally you can say who are morally aware and morally impacted Im- by that that's all simply put kyunki members bhi kabhi students hua karte the so they should sympathize with them correct har har wo member jo student hua karta tha wo yahi bolta hai ki hum bhi isse guzre to tum bhi guzro correct yeah right <laughs> okay all right uh, well one last question and then you know we'll open it up to the other audience members as well the learned audience members and the other students uh, professor kapasi now uh, you apart from you know uh, international financial reporting and uh, accounts you also have been teaching costing for a very very long time costing abhi nikal gaya hai from final ca uh, instead they, it has been moved to self paced e learning 
uh, in fact even law has been removed so uh, what anurag sir was saying ki wo ratta marne ka wo thoda nikal gaya hai what's your view on this do you think costing was more case studies and you know less of uh, do you think it's more relevant to become a topic which is case study oriented उंट full fledged examination on the costing subject so i guess this is going to be discussed in a council eight again before they make a final call on that yeah sir yeah uh, thank you dinesh sir for your input uh, i'll i will examine in a very systematic manner first of all costing subject is very much necessary for a chartered accountant to learn because when a ca goes in a industry or he goes for a audit he is having networking with all the professions even the cost accountant of that company he has a networking with them he has to understand what costing words and what costing means he has to have the knowledge so there is no doubt ke a chartered accountant has to learn costing which is a necessary subject just like law or just like financial management or any other subject like just like gst indirect direct tax a ca has to have knowledge of costing so that he can have a well conversation with any of the committee uh board of directors or with any of the top level industry people who are there in the limited companies etc he should not be a novice to the cost accounting that is the first point so it is necessary second point in the old course the costing was just about marginal costing standard costing and all the costing principles and all those things but in the new course since 2018 i have already taught four batches in the new course 18 19 20 21 i have taught four batches of cost accounting and cost and management performance evaluation what i observed was over the period initial examination of 2018 there was only case studies of 25 marks which now slowly gradually has increased to more than 50 marks of case studies secondly it covers up entire you can say entirely business management like for example six sigma or you may call it all the performance evaluation topics more now to cover up in those 3 hours paper and to discuss all the case studies in those 3 hours and remember the case studies can be any case studies whatever a student learns still he will not be fully prepared to give the answer in those 3 hours applying all the principles of performance evaluation correct so according to me instead of those 3 hours paper in final say examination if this performance evaluation etc is kept it is better that he gradually learns over the two years period two years time frame provided he gets time from article ship job first point is that again i am insisting on that so if your person has to learn properly the two years time gap which is given to him he can do he can do proper study regarding performance evaluation and all the techniques available in the world which is actually learned by i would say in a like industrial engineering course these topics are learned by industrial engineering course all these topics which we are teaching them as a cost accountant in the topic performance evaluation so it is i have taught them and i know the students is difficult for them to interpret or give the answer for the case studies as far as the other 50 marks are concerned he can easily answer as far as the practical problems oriented are there is no problem but 50 marks case study is a challenge for them to answer in those 3 hours and also for his self study in those for the examination point of view whatever he studies whatever principle he studies it is purely principle based he will not be able to apply all the principles and give the proper answer for the case study so i think he needs a more time to study so that two years time frame of studying cost accounting and performance evaluation is the i would say according to me is a perfect thing let him study at his own pace the entire subject he can master the entire subject over the two years time and he can give e learning and then he can give his examination online and he can get about 50% marks so it gives him a basic knowledge fundamental knowledge at the same time he is well qualified he will acquire that knowledge also at the same time like principal he will be more sound than giving final say costing paper okay Okay uh let me also invite uh, chartered accountant Akhil Pachuri 
um you know to just uh, join us in this conversation i can see he's also done a lot of work and a lot of research uh, behind this entire new course um uh, my question actually is something that i'm sure a lot of our viewers and listeners already have on their minds and that is firstly does it does the fact that article ship has been reduced from 3 years to 2 years shorten the period assuming of course that i clear all my exams in one attempt does it really shorten the period and my second question is what about the already registered articles um, or somebody who has already registered with the old course you know can they move uh, to the new course uh, mr pachori i have actually invited him as a speaker but i do not see him having accepted my invitation yet so you know what uh, mr vadera let me shoot that question to you then till the time we get mr pachori yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I think we got him. Sorry, I think we got him. Yes, hi, Mr. Pachauri. Yeah, thank you, uh, Muvinda Ji, for inviting me. And uh, as you rightly mentioned, you and this is a mm-hmm. most asked question, but to me or to any other person, even the Nisher or Anurag sir would also concur that this is the most asked question by any person who is a student of a chartered accountancy. Ma'am, actually, we had a discussion with. Uh, central council members and regional council members also who had a meeting before launching of this whole scheme and even before the notification also so what they are conveying that there is a deed of article ship that is being done between the member and the article what we call a student of chartered accountancy that is the being done on a stamp paper and which is legally binding on both of them unless obviously there is a termination or uh, some other reasons so currently there are three phases of students who will be doing article ship after passing currently under uh, undergoing article ship and those who are in 12th so article ship obviously if you would ask that the time period of completion of a chartered accountancy course has been reduced if you would ask that a person has to go to a job yes for certificate of member it has all yet uh, it has been reduced that is 100% true if obviously if it gets notified in the form and shape as it has been notified so uh, second option is if a person want to do his own practice as me as i am doing for that it's obviously 6 months more or even i would say 8 8 10 months more because there is a uh, gap after taking cum only he can apply for cop so for those who are willing to go for s- practice they have to devote a few 6 months 8 months extra current articles the transition forms at uh, currently if we look at the scheme uh, i don't find or uh, even we had the discussion with the central council members also they told there is no such transition scheme which has been notified but yes for current articles those who are registered and their deed has been also been registered they have to and will have to complete the 3 years of article ship now the second question what they will have in mind do they have also have to complete one year of work ex under uh, a fellow chartered accountant practicing uh, the answer is no that person need not those who have uh, done 3 years of article ship they need not do that 3 years uh, do that one year of work experience under a fellow chartered account so i think uh, this much clarity we have received over a few few uh, days time uh, since the notification of this scheme so yeah this was yeah okay okay mr pachori thank you so much and i think now i'll just open up the floor to all the listeners questions and queries so uh, anybody who has any questions please just raise your hand or put in a request to speak i have the first question coming in from uh, chaitanya hari so chaitanya i'm going to approve you and uh, you can uh, so shoot your question and one of our speakers um will take the answer take the question Yes. Okay, I have him now. Hi, Chetanya. Hi, Mubina. Hi, everyone. Uh, I just uh, like had a query, like seeing the recent papers and everything the C Institute is making. The 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 practical papers which were left, if you can say a FR or a costing, 
most of them are swi- like switching to theory like the recent paper if you see of the costing has around 70 to 75 marks of theory which a student has to write so if we are answering only the theory in eight of the subjects for example by mugging up everything then how a student is being like tested practically whether he has a practical knowledge or not okay i think this will be a question suited for the acm edition on the board so mr vadera professor kapasi one by one maybe you all can give your opinions uh, mr vadera let's start. yeah yeah uh, well uh, thank you i guess uh, chaitanya right all right so that's right is, uh, yeah 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 uh, see uh, uh, i i i firmly believe that there has to be a proper balance between the theory and the practical theory is not always about a uh, mugging up i believe so it's my personal opinion maybe kapasi sir or someone else may differ have a different view on this so i firmly believe that uh, yeah set proportion has to be there currently as you mentioned the 40% theory is there uh maybe that can be worked out a uh, lot of paper in a practical subject or a theoretical subject i have seen that yeah there is a more or less or uh, you know a changing proportion of a theory and practical i don't find uh, it uh, uh, more, more 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 discussion worthy like how it is going to change because i again i'm repeating that i believe that theory is equally uh, important as a practical maybe uh, kapasi sir could have some other views on this uh yeah thank you dinesh sir you give uh chaitanya i would like to suggest see we are doing a chartered accountancy course so basically the cost accounting is supposed to give you the basic concepts clear about every costing aspect regarding overheads material labor etc that is first point secondly regarding the theory which you are saying is actually theory of performance evaluation which you are talking about so there is again the case studies now the theory which is there is supposed to be not rotified or mugged up or something like that but i would put it this way it gives you an awareness of the management concept cost control concept performance concept which are going on in the world like toyota company or even mercedes company or what are they using for like a six sigma is there or how much how to control the waste what is the lean lean accounting or lean management so all these concepts you have to learn you are being aware of their concepts if you say practical practical is what the case studies are supposed to be so you learn these concepts and apply those concepts in the practical case studies which are asked in the examination of cost and uh, cost management and performance evaluation management accounting correct so it is not theory theory in the sense if you are going to rotify you will never be able to solve those uh, case studies let me tell you you have to understand the concept in every theory which is there it is actually not theory it is actually principles of management principles of lean accounting principles of uh, uh, wastage and say six sigma whatever you may call it you have to understand those principles and apply those principles in practical application of like uh, case studies etc as far as the other costing aspects are practical aspects are concerned where the problems are asked there is only problems so i this uh, this new course which is there i 100% agree but the only point is in their 3 hours paper or whatever case studies are very much open it can be any case studies so it becomes difficult for the student especially those who are uh, first of all it becomes not difficult but it is impossible for the students who are going to only rotify or mug up the things he has to understand the principles apply those principles in a uh, practical application of case studies he has to apply those principles and how he writes the principles and how he manages uh, or how he interprets the entire case study and how he answers that shows a student's angle of management and that is what i think the cs like uh, ca being the best prof- uh, best course in the world i would say sorry to exam uh, it's the best course but and the student's mind is so much developed so so much versatile regarding all the subjects that he can be anywhere in the world he can survive or he can do whatever he wants to do so practical aspect what i said theory is not actually theory but you have to understand the principles of those theory and apply it in practical law world yeah one more thing anurag uh, i mean chaitanya i would like to add if you if you ask any uh, professional in the industry whether in a big four whether in a practice a manufacturing industry or anywhere 
as you go in a hierarchy go up in a hierarchy people more work on a theory rather than a practical you just work on the numbers figures and excel sheets at the initial level at the beginning level but as you grow in an organization as your position grows more you work on a report building the conclusion the theoretical aspect and i guess kapasi sir would not deny that so i again believe that a uh, student should be able to form an opinion write it in a proper way express it in a proper way and it is really very important and that what again uh, this has been a, a practice since so many years and that has made the chartered accountancy course a globally acceptable course uh, I, i believe so yeah moving on yeah i 100% agree with dinesh sir that's what exactly what i was trying to say okay, if you are working in an industry and as you go up you become a finance manager you become financial accountant you are a chief accountant and you are coordinating with all the people and is naturally you, sh- you you are capable of doing it so theory is actually the principle which you are studying not yeah, theory exactly. theory exactly even when i started my practice i was more into the excel now i very spend <laughs> very few less time in excel and i spend more time in microsoft word <laughs> for the drafting and forming and that's what my partner and principals in the big four used to do i mean <laughs> he, he, i mean i have i shouldn't say this but my di- director was there he was his review was more of the grammatical review rather than <laughs> the, <laughs> i mean more than like laughing think... so he was you must have been gone through this yes absolutely <laughs> absolutely dinesh sir you know uh, when, when i see all my colleagues and all they're all you know, during article ship 17 18 year old and the way we used to vociferously type on that excel sheet and <laughs> every client who used to come they used to be like aap kar kya rahe ho wo ka- keyboard pe matlab tod doge you know usko <laughs> so i 100% agree mujhe bhi lagta tha ki mera boss ye review ke naam pe ye grammatical error don't i what is this but now i want to, I, I, i have started doing that again i mean what i do Absolutely. now so <laughs> okay let's let's take on some more questions i want to you know just try and cover as many questions there is mr dhimant uh, kaparia uh, who also has a query i have just approved you uh, dhimant sir go ahead with your question uh, yes he's like uh the month we can't hear you yeah. if no, you're no. speaking yeah, yeah. i, I yes. kept the mic on first of all i mean the discussion up till now whatever i have heard is really excellent and one more thing to add kapasi sir i was your student way back in the year 1983 to be very precise oh <laughs> nice to know you yes sir i mean at sir. usha commerce class to be very precise sir oh 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 okay that is 35 years ago yes sir and i am also a mm-hmm. professor i am also teaching in a college at the undergraduate level and also at the postgraduate level now one thing just a small suggestion that whatever it training and everything whatever they are suggesting in those two years right i would advise ki that should be kept after the two years are over because whatever practical training they are supposed to learn because it will be you know i mean encroaching upon those many days of work what they are supposed to get the student the article students because it's a suggestion i mean i think if you can throw some light on that because the it training or the i hope but sir in a way doesn't that also then uh, uh, elongate the course further that after you do ca then you do it training i mean any one of our speakers can take this but this was no, just no it's uh, not it's not a uh, question know. of that just yes. what happens we are reducing mm-hmm. from 3 years to 2 years right so basically correct and, yes. and there has to be a revamping done on a very large scale as far as these two training courses are concerned because if you look at mba students if you look at students from the other background the way they are able to present themselves you know we still find that our ca students are sometimes lacking in that yeah kapadia sir i would like to answer the whole yes, idea behind this two year of article ship is having an uninterrupted article ship that word they have been using since a quite a time so yeah i believe that it is going to be the way that you are saying that two years of article ship will be uninterrupted 
and then only all these itt and uh, uh, training session will start for a student but it will make student more uh, it will make uh, create more problems for a student because once you finish two years of article sheet they will barely get a time to join a coaching or, or do a self study then after when they will reach in you know, a mode of where what we call as a core academics time when you locked yourself inside the room and put your 100% attention in the books in the syllabus in the subjects at that time they will have to struggle with all this training and all and i mean uh, i don't know how to uh, say this but of course uh, we have to discuss this more that how it is going to impact yeah no much. because sir that so, is what the question is that they have to be more clear about these things because these things also will matter much because nowadays yeah, no. presentation and everything is really important and sometimes i find that certain new students they lack in this because that is where the problem is occurring so i think institute or the members should be throwing more light and more revamping should be done about these courses definitely uh, sir good point i mean it should be take uh, take up for the further discussion yeah uh, dhiman sir one uh, one input of mine they say for this it and other courses it requires 180 to 240 days so 180 to 240 days is lot you we can in some during in those two years if suppose after giving final say examination and before yes. the result comes out before the result comes out there is always a gap of 2 3 months yes so it can be adjusted over there after giving final say examination let him do this whatever it course or compulsory courses are there that way it save those two years also and he doesn't have to even uh, the student doesn't have to spend more time after the results are out he is a chartered accountant yes, he doesn't go again waste the time so sir, that, that, that will is be more effective i think good suggestion no, yes yeah kapasi sir that uh, is what suggestion sir, i think is yes go ahead yeah yeah sorry yeah, yeah. the kapasi sir that is the suggestion i have given on one of the groups where i am a member so on whatsapp to be given to the central council members that during this time and then they can conduct more such courses of this type during that particular period because then student will find it difficult to join so i Demand think sir, that's a but problem over here is everybody wants after the examination no see institute doesn't have a slot they get full so all yes, the students doesn't get during that time that is the biggest problem of, for the students yes sir that's what i'm saying so they have to arrange such courses more often i mean after the exams and in a very you know what do you call it as a systematic manner those who right. want to join can do it before and those who want to join after the exam so something or the other they should work out on this sir if i'm not mistaken i think point, uh, point taken, sir. i i just yeah, want yeah. to you know as far as possible try and reach out to as many listeners as possible anurag sir yes go ahead yeah, yeah. you also yeah, yeah. point Ma'am, thank you, thank uh, you, thank i have you, some thank issue uh, i have some issue regarding un uninterrupted training uh, or uh, that has been mentioned in the draft is there and is it possible actually uninterrupted training because it will only increase the pressure on students uh, at, in today's time we also know that uh, students are so career conscious due to this competition and all that to start uh, start to prepare from 9th or 8th to 9th uh, actually like a few days back i was reading about a student who was uh, a parent who was telling his uh, kid that you need to be an ias officer and that kid was just in fifth standard so the uninterrupted training is something like something jittery i guess because uh, student will be going through those classes or will be going through those coaching and uh, will be preparing for this exam and it will put the extra pressure on them uh, because they will have to, the breaks are very less there are only 12 breaks in uh, per year i guess so uh i don't think our institute should issue some guidelines regarding it or uh, should set some uh, sops regarding it uh, so that it won't put any pressure on the students i think that's what even uh, professor kapasi dinesh sir were all saying right that pehle to you are just giving 24 days in that period of 2 years in that you have to complete the self paced modules and you have to only work as an article of course that 35 hours or the 40 hours limit is there in a week but uh, um you know on paper it's sometimes difficult as well to follow i would like to actually you know be devil's advocate here if i could call it that and ask dinesh sir because he is a practicing chartered accountant as well and i'm sure he has a lot of articles to under him so dinesh sir what's your view on this you know the, instead of 3 years or wo 3 saal ke beech mein a student can give even final say if they want to or they can give group 2 of inter ca now it is 2 years continuous dedication to your practical training you know as a practicing ca what's your view of that 
well uh, i mean uh, i i i i have still not made any firm view on this let me be very frank i mean i still believe that it should be discussed a uh, uh, lot of stakeholders students and uh, lot of comments must be invited and maybe then then we can reach a, a popular or the uh, <coughs> majority opinion on that but uh, i believe that uh, 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 well uh, Mm, uninterrupted two years of training is how it is going to help the student actually. Like uh, I mean, anyways, after that, uh, there is no certainty that he will be continuing with the firm or not. And uh, further, it will say definitely not help reducing the overall duration of a, a CA course. So I still believe that currently I don't have an opinion on that. And maybe I would also uh, take a time to think on it before I form Fair an enough. opinion. Of course, अभी चार दिन भी नहीं हुए actually, uh, and uh, and also I think once you actually start having those articles under you, that's when you will really know what it's like. So yes, we'll give you that time. Sorry, uh, okay, uh, because मतलब uh, frankly, frankly, frankly मैं तो ये कहता हूँ कि article सही में काम ही सीखता है डेढ़ साल के बाद. मतलब we, you can we can delegate him a work on his own. Uh, I mean, पता नहीं अभी दो साल में how to manage the things like. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. so one more input since about the number of days leave is there. Uh, one more suggestion, of course. Again, I'm favoring students more, and again the members that twelve days is too less. In today's time, people like students are more like what about they want a more break. It's all work and no fun is make the jack a dull boy, right? So you should get at least fit fifteen, twenty, twenty days in a year as a break. Twenty days at least. So twenty and twenty forty days in two years. It's not much, but that will help our person to grow and get more more incentivized, more more you can say uh, motivated. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, any more questions from our viewers? Please do um, you know send in your request. We have Mr. Manish Tiwari uh, who has a question. I have just approved him as a speaker. Uh, Manish, go ahead. Manish, you're on mute. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, and yes, ask ma'am. I have unmuted the yes, unmuted, and uh, am I audible right now? Yes, we can hear you. I am not yes, a chartered accountant, nor I am interested. I am just putting up a outsider's perspective because I follow this profession. I have employed chartered accountants. So, few things which I have experienced in last ten years. If you permit, I may put up. Can I go? Please, sir, go uh, ahead. Of ma'am, course. The first thing which I was listening to. is and which i have found while interacting with a student who have just done their chartered accountant c course is that the stipend which uh, this uh, uh, which is being paid to article trainees is too meager means paying 2500 kills the self worth of a candidate this is what i have felt means i have seen uh, students uh, ca uh, final uh, cleared students that they are ready to do work for 200 500 filing for it returns etc so either don't pay anything or pay a decent amount if even uh, an intern who does a medical uh, internship after their mbbs course is getting around 25 30 000 nowadays so means by what account this uh, uh, institute or this chartered accountant who is employing an article is paying 2500 this is my first objection ma'am means uh, uh, means in my company the uh, uh, staff which is the lowest paid is 8000 10000 so how can one expect this point number 1 second is regarding the employability of uh, uh, the chartered accountant who come uh, who clear their course few things are missing ma'am the first thing is a communication and written aptitude means i have seen cs who have passed out they are good in their theoretical knowledge they know the subject but if you give them to draft a, a draft something or if you can uh, give to uh, propose something they are weak at it they are weak at communication skill and since uh, most of the students they are not going to start with practice they would like to join some corporate group they have to have this training so this two years article ship training or in course it can be utilized to build up their personality i think someone pointed out uh, from uh, the group also that building a personality building a uh, face and personality is important for a professional and cs enter enter okay. as a professional this is lacking man uh, second thing third thing is regarding this it training today uh, as someone was also telling that once you work it's basically working on excel sheets and as you grow up it's checking grammar so it is a fact man uh, our uh, training uh, in it and it enable services and it enable uh, skill set is very important 
this can be divided and it it has to be intense means once you go for an mba it's a two year course the best part of mba is a intense course so uh, uh, time can be taken out it can be designed i think we have medium today where we can uh, use this hybrid model of training through contacts or through online resources where these trainings can be imparted they are very much required uh, when one enters this uh, profession as an employee so these are few of my suggestions the third is that the, i don't know i um, miss how you carry on with your this uh, association but it has to be strong it has to put up views it has to uh, bring parties together and it has to conclude something third, fourth thing which i hmm. feel is that there is a content of law in ca course financial laws and all these laws Correct. but the basic philosophy of hmm. law is missing in the subject supposedly one is doing your uh, llb course a good llb course they are taught the basic philosophy of law, law philosophy of laws means why they came up about legal thinkers about the uh, vision behind bringing some laws it gives a grasp better grasp rather than a cramming thing it gives a perspective that why we have these laws and it helps in presenting oneself mm. this this i think i have uh, this thing is missing in the course i don't know detail about the course but since i have talked to cs i mm-hmm. think they are not clear about this thing that why we are studying this law how it should be implemented if you don't know this philosophy means you cannot uh, refine anything you cannot give suggestion on anything so these are few things which are missing and i don't know why even it's great mr tiwari no no it's great to actually get in an outsider's opinion as well because you know that's very important on how they perceive the chartered accountancy course and chartered accountant graduates as well um, and i think it was anurag sir actually who brought up a big chunk of these points uh, you know i just want to I, i just have my two cents actually on the whole uh, the part that you mentioned for example when you ask uh, the ca to draft a letter for example there will be some grammatical errors or whatever it is i think india may see we need to understand that we are an english speaking country but we are also a dominantly hindi speaking country it's a bilingual nation and we don't speak just one language so many a times you know students speak hindi at home and then you know you have to give english so usme your presentation skills lag a little bit uh, because of that you know perhaps or we are, it's you know that english is not absolutely a one like how you have western countries jahan pe ek hi bhasha bolte hai so this could po- possibly Ma'am, be one reason you know this is just reason. of course my once uh, miss it can mm-hmm. be expected for a student but once a uh, uh, candidate right. gets through the degree miss we cannot carry it as an excuse mm-hmm. i'm i'm language neutral it can be hindi mm-hmm. it can be english it can be anything but it has to be style and content of course and that is a learned content thing, right? it, has, right. it has to be uh, miss it has to be in the syllabus they need to be taught Correct. in management courses miss i have attended few courses in top management institutes across world short term courses there also they see it and they teach Correct. even if it is a one week class they mm-hmm. teach so it is a thing of uh, imparting skill it is a skill man which is an acquired skill so this is one point see we also the, ch- the chartered accountancy course also has of course the gmcs etc uh, i want to bring anurag sir's view since he actually did bring this up uh, very vociferously yes, earlier as well anurag sir your take on this uh, you know you have a, a potential chartered accountant employer somebody who uses uh, ca services in his uh, firm uh, what's your take on uh, mr tiwari's views he is very right actually uh, the kind of the cas actually lack uh, communication skills because uh, we are sound practically the uh, the articles that are being trained are sound practically and but uh, the communication level or the skills that are required to communicate effectively lack uh, like in law or advocates are good in drafting or mbas are good in communicating the cas are good in practical so uh, there are pros and cons but i totally agree with him that uh, we do lack some communication skills and institute needs to work on it uh, the, the I, i i guess the training period of our uh, icts whatever training they impart is of 15 days if i am uh, right is it a 15 or 20 days i guess so in these 15 to 20 days you can't expect anyone or any student to go through or uh, be well versed with the communication skills it will require time so institute should also look into it and uh, yeah i totally agree with what mani sir has said okay so what we have right now may not be enough and we have to expand it um okay ma'am, i think you know request, what we have really extended our one, time one request i would also like to make today ma'am we are living in the yes. age of social media and i would request all members yes. members teachers outsiders like me 
to mm-hmm. be on a platform and uh, progress progressively means there are many ways where people can associate come up sort out differences think over all these issues mm-hmm. which are uh, in courses outside courses about articles about employees about employment and come out with mm-hmm. a solution ma'am what i was talking about uh, listening about this article ship training ma'am if we give a uh, mm-hmm. uh, if we have something ethical sort of uh, uh, line where we ask a ca mm-hmm. to uh, deal with uh, those uh, uh, article assistant it's not going to work ma'am it hasn't worked it hasn't worked anywhere you mm-hmm. uh, for example now we have very strong laws against exploitation of women in all companies and even the smaller companies have mm. to comply to those and things have improved drastically mm. once we leave it for uh, on basis of ethics or some uh, discipline or principle nothing is going to work so we need to have certain mm. clear cut defined uh, laws uh, guidelines that mm. this needs to be done this need not be done and this 12 uh, days of uh, year uh, holiday it's just exploitation mm. it's on end of exploitation at least they should have 30 days because someone mm. rightly said i think you uh, Uh, sir who is in teaching for around 30 years he has an experience and with his experience he said means jack of uh, means he will become a fool means if he is working uh, for uh, 12 months mm. regularly having a 12 days break no one can work practically no one can work means uh, in every mm. organization mm. you have an uh, a month or two uh, uh, 45 days holiday and it should be with them and things can be compressed within mm. that period two years time is a big time sorry it's a very big time mm. okay okay ma'am All right, uh, well, Mr. Tawari, Tawari, point taken. Thank you so much uh, for sharing uh, nice your uh, thoughts, your views. Thank you so much, Mr. Tawari. And um, I think yes, uh, we need to also understand, you know, soft skills, IT. These are not something that can be taught in, you know, two weeks or twenty days. These are ongoing. What you see, you know, when you speak to your peers, exactly. you speak to your family, etc. All of this is a part of soft skills. You know, yeah, as a journalist, I would be able to as well throw some light on that. But now we are completely out of time. as you all know and i'll make it very very clear as all of our speakers as well have said that this is not yet implemented isko abhi bahut time hai there will have to be um, a lot of um, to and fro all of you are welcome to put forward your suggestions on the bos website on what you all think of the new course the positives the negative put forward your suggestions the council will take them into consideration they will mull over it fir ministry and you know all the other government bodies ke paas jayega it will probably come back to them all the to and fro will happen so it's still a while away but you know for all prospective students and those interested in doing ca we thought this will be a great way to get all your doubts answered to get your questions answered i hope we've been able to do that and on that note um, dinesh sir anurag sir professor kapasi everyone thank you so much for joining us today as panelists and to all our listeners as well 